Mortal Kombat just doesn't learn from their mistakes. From their inconsistencies in the storyline, like Katana being white, then Asian, but her mom was still white, to their casting decision for Sonya Blade in Mortal Kombat 11. Ronda Rousey. Could y'all have found anyone more nonchalant and emotionless? The answer is yes, motherfucker. Enter Megan Fox into the Mortal Kombat universe, playing no other than her fellow bloodsucker, Natara. But I'ma speak more on that in a minute. But for now, let's get into this ridiculous trailer. She is a type of vampire creature. She's evil, but she's also good. She's evil, but also good. Uh, is, is water wet and also dry? There's plenty of other ways to call somebody an anti-hero, or even a person of conflicting morality, but this bitch that's missing brain cells took the easiest and most nonsensical route of speech. This is just a nitpick of Megan Fox in general, but I don't really care. Deal with it, you goddamn simps. But I really like her. She's a vampire, which obviously <laughs> resonates for whatever reason. Resonates for whatever reason, huh? You mean the fact that you and your former weirdo ex-boyfriend are on record for the fact that y'all used to drink? each other's blood as a ritual to prove your love to one another. <laughs> yeah, okay. For whatever reason, you go flappy bird looking ass. Man, this woman is nasty. I had never been one of those Transformers kids that had a celebrity crush on this woman. I genuinely never saw the appeal, especially now so that I'm older, more mature, and have common sense on an elite level. You'd swear I got a master's in that joint. You outworlders believe yourself so superior. Bruh, what? Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that voice acting? Oh my mother, my own girlfriend could have done better than that by a mile. What did you do with Jen's body? Poor Kung Lao. You will never see her again. And what the hell was that? Nah, I'm pissed off now. It should have been read like, Poor Kung Lao. You'll never see her again. But instead, we got this. Poor Kung Lao. You'll never see her again. I swear, nothing gives me the man ick more than petty, Poor voice acting, especially in a franchise that I love. Mortal Kombat, it's just one of those staples. It's been around since gaming has been around. Has it? Has it? Girl, who wrote this <laughs> for you? Cause it wasn't Ed Boon. It's crazy that they gave Megan Fox Natara, but they didn't give Shao Kahn to Batista or any character, someone who actually does play the game. I think it's just like an opportunity that anybody would want. Cause we did all grow up playing the game. Did y'all see that little eye twitch? Is she doing what I think she's doing? I've had a lot of fun doing it. She's reading off of a teleprompter. Yo, I'm done. This boot eye is so fake. How much did they pay her to do this? Like, like genuinely, what was the bag like? I know it was heavy. Cause there's no way they had her visibly reading a script script while doing this post-game interview. Y'all dudes who enjoy her voice acting, probably the same dudes who be busting peanuts at the side of her, you nasty jagoffs. Get the hell up off my wee-wee. Her voice acting? Trash. Her acting? Worse. Shorty couldn't even pretend like she wasn't reading a script. Her eyes were literally following the words along like some karaoke. Now subscribe before I hit you with this new demigod fatality. As y'all know, I've got a new profile picture in town. And for the foreseeable future, it ain't going nowhere. So give me a like, give me a share, or I'ma be in your auntie underwear. And I'll be seeing you. Take care and peace. Baby, let me see something. Okay, too bad. Bitches, go away. Both ways. Woo! She gon' do it for these bands. She make it clap like how I do. Go for my hands. Fuck it up. Stick it up. Go back.